Hi, and welcome to Everyone a Coder, your fast track to bring Genosis products into your applications with ease. I'm Zana Miller from the Genosis engineering team, and in this video, we'll run through the steps to integrate an API from the Genosis API portal into a Node.js application. We'll go step by step, from setting up your app on the portal to making a successful API call using a secure OAuth authentication. For this demo, I've created a test application on the Genosis API portal and added the MTN South Africa SIM Activity API. Once the API is added, the portal automatically generates a consumer key and secret for authentication. Documentation for each API product is available on the portal. It outlines all the available endpoints, expected request and response structures, parameters, and other integration details. For the integration, I've built a basic Node.js application following a root controller service architecture. This helps keep the code modular and organized. Sensitive credentials like the client ID and secrets are stored in an environment file. In addition, I've included the base URL for the API. Depending on your application security requirements, you can also store these credentials securely using tools like Azure Key Vault or AWS Config Service. I've created a single route to retrieve the last SIM activity for a given phone number, customer ID or MSI SDN. This route will handle the logic of generating the token, calling the endpoint and returning the results. Before calling the endpoint, we need to generate an OAuth token using the credentials provided by the portal. I've written a function to request the token and store it in a variable so that it can be reused until it expires. To optimize performance, the token can also be cached and reused across multiple calls. Inside the service layer, I've integrated the actual API call to the SIM activity endpoint, including the OAuth token in the header for secure access. With the app running, let's test it using Osmo. I've defined the route and we can send the request with a valid custom ID. If the input is incorrect, the endpoint returns an appropriate error. For example, using an invalid ID returns a user not found message. At the moment, input validation isn't implemented in the application, but it can be easily added depending on your needs. When the request is successful, the API returns the last SIM activity data for the customer, including the activity date, activation status, and more. If you prefer to call the endpoint directly from a web app, that's also possible. Here I've created a simple web page where you can enter a custom ID and retrieve the same activity details directly in the browser. You can follow the same approach to integrate any API product from the Genosis portal into your own applications. So feel free to explore the Genosis platform and reach out to us if you have any questions about leveling up your application with our marketplace of ready-to-go solutions. Thanks for watching.